What's going on folks, John Booter here. I wanted to do a bit of a comparison between two condenser mics that I've got. So this one, Audio-Technica AT2020, which you're not listening to. This one, Behringer B5, which you are listening to. So we've got you know small diaphragm condenser and then a medium diaphragm condenser. I guess it's not large enough to be considered large, but anyway. Um, they're going into the Zoom F3. I've got the sensitivity at X512 on this uh, the B5, which is probably a bit more than you really need um, in this situation, but I think it's certainly a bit less sensitive than the AT2020. It, I don't know, just the way it, it's tuned, it seems to pick up a lot of mouth noises, even when it's a, a bit further away than this. Um, and just the characteristics of it, but I like the sound. It picks up, you know, bass. It, it sounds, you know, good noise noise floor. Um, sounds sounds good to me. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume and then raise the volume on the AT2020 to compare. Okay, we're coming up. We got 64, 128, and now we're at X256, which is one step lower than the Behringer B5. So of course now you're listening to the AT2020. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just in my garage, as you can probably tell. It's, it's an older house, um, older garage door. So there's there's gaps around it for sure, um, and it's a bit windy outside. So I can actually hear the wind a little bit through the headphones. So and it's picking it up in the video there. Um, recording through OBS Studio. And peaks are going maybe about negative eight decibels or something like that. Anyway, yeah, just a quick and dirty test of these two condenser mics so I can kind of listen to it back and, and see which one I uh, I like and which one I'm planning to use. The rough plan now is, is probably to use this one um, with a, a like a cheaper tube preamp that I just recently ordered on eBay uh, with the Behringer UM2 interface and I'll use that at work and just use it for, for you know video calls and recording how-to videos uh, for work and, and things like that. But then this uh, AT2020 I believe is going to be a little bit better sound for, uh, for like practicing voiceover or narration things like that. Uh, I've also got a Behringer. I, sometimes I bid on, on several things on eBay and I win more than one at once. So anyway, I've got a, a large diaphragm condenser, which is a Behringer um, C2, C2, which I'm going to compare to the AT20 and 2020 in, in the future videos. So anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. So thanks for watching.